Hey what's up YouTube welcome to Google Luxib. In this tutorial I will explain you how you can import these files in Python. So let's begin. Hey myself Betty, I'm Lakshat's assistant. I make sure that his videos are helpful to you. Please tell me your video experience in the comment box so that I can tell Lakshat to improve his videos. And I'll keep your extra care if you subscribe to his channel and also press the bell icon. I and Lakshat will really appreciate it. If you complete this 10 second task, thank you. So here you can see, here is the file, here is first CSV file, comma separated file, then we have a JSON file, then we have a Excel file, after that we have a comma separated TXT file, then we have semicolon separated TXT file, how we can import them in our Jupyter notebook. So, for that simply press shift plus right click and go to the powershell type jupyter notebook and wait for some time now you can see that we have to add a new file let's say name more file for that we have to first I have a trick for you we, have, we first import import.os then in os we use the function list there it will give the all the list of files which are present in our folder then now here we will import pandas now let's create a variable let's say document one dr1 equals to first we will import this let's say csv file okay for that simply put pandas dot v underscore csv and here put the file name in my case it's a supermarkets dot csv then oops wait 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 we have to do like this and then here you can see that our csv file has been imported successfully now we will import this let's say json file for json file simply say dr2 equals to pandas dot read now instead of underscore csv we will use json and here simply name of the file json dr2 here you can get the JSON file output. After that, we will import this Excel file. For that, dr3 let's say equals to pandas dot v underscore Excel and here name of the file what's the name of the file supermarket.xlsx now you know that in excel file you also have a sheet we have to specify the name of the sheet which you want to read in my case i only have a one sheet that's why i have to write the index one index zero now if i print this out here my excel file has been imported after that so let's say what we left we are left with this txt commas for that cdr4 equals to pandas dot v underscore we can use csv for reading txt file also dr4 and you can 
can see our txt file has been successfully imported now if you want to import this comma separated file okay guys just to import this program sorry file simply let's say create a variable df5 equals to pandas dot read dot c as v then name the file in our case it is supermarket semicolon.txt now here you can see that we have a semicolon separated file that's why we have to put a function that set equals to semicolon now we have to run this out okay we got an error in this case we have to call the helpline pandas.v underscore csv question mark okay here you can see that in our function we have to put a set equals to comma here we have put semicolon that's why it shows an error now if we try to print this out what's an error now okay okay guys one more error is there this more dot here underscore here you can see that our file has been successfully created so if you have any kind of doubt you can ask me in the comment box and stay tuned and we'll do in the next tutorial.